Welcome. My name is Leanne, and I'm going to lead you through this yoga class today. So you want a chair to sit in that doesn't have arms, so you have space on either side to move freely. So you can sit back in your chair at this moment. So let your back rest. Your feet can rest on the floor. You can close your eyes. And we're just taking a moment to become present. So feel the floor underneath your feet. Feel your body resting in the chair. So there's this subtle sense of moving downward or letting go downward into the support of the chair. And we wanna just let our body receive that support. Check in with your breath and just feel the inhale move in and the exhale move out. And then just this gentle flow of breath in and out and how that helps us to become present. We can always find our breath. We can always follow our breath. It's always present. Check in with your body, how it is today, letting go of tension, inviting in ease. And the amount of presence that you feel at the moment, can you bring that with you into your movement so that we're practicing being present for this whole class? So you can open up your eyes and you can shift yourself forward in the seat of your chair so that you're not resting on the back of your chair anymore. Okay, feel your feet on the ground. And we're just gonna start here by lifting our heels up and then let the heels come down and lift the toes up and the balls of the feet up. So just go back and forth between those two. So heels lift and then heels drop and the toes and the balls of the feet lift. You can just feel the difference as you go back and forth between the lift of the heels and the lift of the other part of the feet. So you can notice your ankles, you can notice your, your lower legs, so your shins and your calves. The feeling in the bottom of the feet as they get a little bit of stretch movement. And then just settling your feet back to the floor. So you can feel the soles of your feet on the ground. And then you're gonna push a little bit harder through your right foot. So just let your right foot root down into the floor. And then same thing on the left side. So let the right foot relax, press a little bit harder into the left foot. So you're just gently, sort of subtly weight shifting from side to side, but feel really rooted and grounded through whichever foot is the one that you happen to be pressing on. Okay, so you can stay with that or you can add another layer. So you're gonna push down through one foot and the other leg is gonna lift up. And then that leg's gonna drop and press down and then the opposite leg is gonna lift. You can even create some resistance for yourself if you like by resting hands on thighs and then as one foot presses gently into the floor and the other leg rises up, you're resisting with that hand on that leg. There's a couple of different things we're tracking right now. The pressure down on the floor as you root down, the lift of the opposite leg and as it meets the resistance. Okay, one more each. both feet back on the floor, tip yourself forward. So you can bring your hands to your thighs or you could fold further if you wanna drop further. And we're gonna push down through the legs, come on back up and turn to the left. So your right hand could come to your left leg, your left hand could come to your hip, 
your chair seats, it could lift back behind you. Maybe it can rest on the back of your chair, depending on how high up it is. Turning left, breathing. Unwind your turn, fold forward again. So bring the heart forward, the head forward. Press down through your feet, rise back up. Back is straight and tall, turning to the right. So left hand over to the opposite leg, right arm wherever it wants to be here, whether it's resting or whether it's lifting. And you're breathing. Okay, unwind your turn. Step your feet just maybe a half a step forward. And there's a little bit further forward and fold forward again. So hands or forearms to the thighs, or you can come right down if you if your body is happy to do that. You're listening to your body. Breathing into your back, just gently, just aware of the breath that's in your back. Right, that subtle expanding and retracting. Push down through your feet and rise back up. You can put your feet underneath your knees again. We're gonna roll out the shoulders. You let the shoulders relax, let the arms come down beside you and just lift them a little bit free of the sides of your body and then roll your arm bones in your shoulder sockets. So your upper arms are rolling inward and then outward. Just loosening up gently at the shoulders and the right shoulder may move differently from the left shoulder. You let the palms face forward, let the arms move backward. Shoulders are low. And then let the left arm relax, bring your right hand to your right shoulder and we're gonna circle just the right shoulder now. So you could keep sort of the elbow pointing more towards the floor or you could let it become a bigger movement if you like where the elbow gets to make a circle. Go okay, the other direction. You can always slow it down. You can always make it a little bit more gentle. Let the right arm relax. We're gonna hug it across the body. So the left hand can come up and land above the right elbow. Now you're welcome to keep the right arm long or bring the hand to the shoulder. The right hand might be on the left shoulder. Okay, the shoulders are dropping. Your feet are on the floor your seat resting in your chair in this easy breath. You can feel the breath in the lower ribs. Slow expand. And the slow breath out is when the, there's a retraction. So expand and release. Can your right arm, we're gonna let the right arm go. So it could rest in your lap, it could hang beside you. Maybe it can tuck back behind you. So that right arm could be resting on the back of the pelvis or across the low back, or maybe it's resting on the seat of your chair. Just a comfortable position for that arm to be in where the shoulder feels okay, where it feels at ease. And then turn your head towards the left. Unwind your head, unwind the right arm, left hand to the left shoulder. So circle out the left shoulder so you can go forwards or backwards. The elbow could stay pointing down or you could let more of the upper arm come into that movement and circle, make a big circle with the elbow. Can you go the other direction? 
little or big. Let the left arm become still and then hug it across your body so the right hand can come up above the left elbow, dropping the shoulders. Maybe the left hand is resting at the shoulder. Slow breath in and out. So when your mind wanders, keep bringing it back to the sensations in your body or the feeling of the breath. And we're gonna let the left arm go and it could rest or hang or maybe it could tuck behind you. And then maybe you can turn your head to the right. Let the head go. I let the arms become symmetrical. So they could both tuck back or both be at your hips or both be at your sides or in your lap. You let the chin drop towards the chest. Feet on the floor, you can feel your seat in the chair. You let your head come back to neutral. Now tip forward from the hips, so keep the back straight. So just bring the pelvis and the heart and the head forward. Let the body come back to vertical. Let the hands come free. All right, from here, tip your head to the left. So left ear towards the left shoulder. Maybe the left hand wants to come up and rest really gently around the right ear. So don't pull the head. Just think of the weight of your hand. And then this right arm might lift and move around a little. Okay, soften your jaw. And we're gonna switch sides. So let the head come to neutral. Reverse your arms. So the right arm is maybe sweeping up to rest near the left ear. Just the weight of the right hand. That left arm might hang or it might lift. It might move back. Okay, you could also, if you don't want the right arm up, it can always just be falling. Let the head come up, let the arms begin to come into a T, and then we're gonna side bend. So pick one way to side bend, so tip to the side, and then tip to the other side. So if arms long are feeling a bit much, then maybe try fingertips on your shoulders. Just nice and easy side to side, feeling into your sides how they get a little stretch on one side and a little compression on the other side. Okay, when you're even, come back to the center and bring your hands to your lap. Just give your shoulders one last roll out. Okay, and then relax your shoulders. So slide yourself forward in the seat of your chair. We are slowly going to come up out of the chair. So feel into how you do this so that you can do it in a way that feels nice and stable and you can use it as a way to build strength. Okay, so you can let the arms come forward. You sort of let your weight shift forward, forward, forward. And then there's a moment where you need to shift up out of the seat of your chair into your legs. Take the pause okay, and then press down through your feet and rise up. All right, so you can come and you can uh, you can use the chair for this the, the first posture here and you can come behind your chair if you want to so that you've got you're facing the back of your chair. And if you want to use the seat, you can do that as well. All right, so hands or forearms are going to be on the chair. We're going to walk the feet back and tip at the hips and then bring the heart down. So your legs here, you might have a bend in your knees, okay, or you work, might be working with your legs straight. Noticing what you notice in the legs, in the back, in the shoulders. Okay. 
and begin to rise up. So you can lift and then you can step your feet a step in towards your chair. So now we're gonna balance. So use the chair as you'd like to. We're gonna stand in the right foot and we'll bend the left knee and move the left leg back. So you can do that without your left hand reaching for the left foot, okay? or you could bring the left hand down and you can catch the shin and bring the heel in. So either way, what we're looking for is a lengthening in the front of the thigh so the knee is pointing down towards the floor. Maybe it's moving back. Okay. With or without the opposite hand on the chair. Okay. If you want a little bit more, you might tip a little forward, lifting the left leg up. Okay. Then come back to vertical and let the left leg go, but let it stay back off the floor behind you. So the leg straightens out and lifts up now. And then from there, if you like a little more, you can tip forward. So you could come all the way to where you're horizontal, lifting up the left leg as you bring the upper body forward, or you might be more vertical. And you sort of feel this activity happening in through the back of the left leg and in through the glute on the left side. All right, come back to vertical, both feet back on the floor, and then we'll switch sides. Okay, so you can just stand in your left foot, then the right knee, Bring the heel behind you, move the right leg back. So if you don't wanna reach with your right hand, you don't have to, or you can reach down with the right hand. So this is dancer pose. You're steady down that left leg. The left knee isn't locked. Okay, maybe the right leg moves a little bit back. Easy shoulders. Pick a spot to be gently resting your gaze on. So your gaze is just soft at this place. Your breath is still happening. You could add a little tip forward if you want, which happened at the left hip. And come back to vertical. Let the right leg go. It's back behind you off the floor straight. So you can stay more vertical or you can tip forward, lifting the right leg up. So you keep lifting that right leg up. We don't want to let it fall. We want to lift it up. So it's like the top of your head all the way down to that right foot is a long straight line. Okay, come on back up. Land that left right foot. So you got both feet back on the floor. Okay, from here with both feet on the ground, we're going to practice sitting back down in our chair. So this is chair pose in yoga. So you're gonna bend the knees and hinge at your hips. So your seat has to go back and down towards that chair that isn't there. So use your hands if they help you feel steady. Okay, you can feel down the left leg, you can feel down the right leg, both together. So sink, push down and rise. Okay, and again, sink down. So you've hinged at hips, knees, ankles, but your knees are not shooting way forward, right? Your weight is back. Feel that sort of strength, feel that effort. Push down and come back up. Okay, now come and stand uh, in front of your chair. As if you were going to sit, but we're not gonna sit yet. Okay, so just tuck your hands a little bit back behind you so that they can feel where the chair seat is. And then begin to sink back into your your yoga chair. So bend your knees, hinge at your hips, feel where the seat of your chair is. So you have that sort of reference, even though you're not necessarily looking at it, push down and come back up. Okay. And then one more. So sink and then sit. So then you can slowly lower yourself back down. All right, so next, uh, what we're gonna come to is the chair version of warrior two. So take your left leg and let it go wide towards the left side. So we're not turning our seat in the chair, we've just taken the left leg as wide as we can. Now in warrior two, our left knee is bent, our right leg is straight out to the right side. So the right thigh 
maybe has a little bit of an inward roll to it. If this isn't comfortable for you, then let the right leg do what it needs to do to be okay here. So maybe it's not as wide, maybe the knee is bent. Your back is tall, your sitting bones are in the seat of your chair. The knee of the left foot and the toes of the left foot are gonna stay on the same angle. Okay, let your hands come to your heart and then let your arms open wide. And then bring your right hand to your right leg or your right hip and your left hand up to the ceiling and then side bend towards the right. So your left side is longer than your right side. Okay, come back to vertical, let your arms come back wide. And then come to side stretch, which is your left forearm to your left leg. And your right hand could come to the hip or straight up or up and over top. So both sides of the body here are long right side and the left side. Okay, come back up to vertical, arms wide, palms facing up, and then let your hands come back to your heart, and then we'll switch legs. So you can roll the right leg in and the left leg can come in. Right leg can go wide, so adjust where your seat is in the seat of the chair. Okay, and then this left leg, can it extend out? So maybe the toes of the left foot are pointing towards me, right? Whereas the toes of the right foot are angled at a little bit of a different angle. Okay, you can feel like you're maybe trying to lift the arches of your feet. Okay, and remembering this back knee, it can, it can be bent, that's fine. Let the back leg be straight, or comfortable rather. All right, so let your hands come to your heart. Your arms are gonna open up, so let's try palms face down this time. They're wide at shoulder height, left hand to the left hip or the left leg, right arm can come up and over top and that palm can spin. So you're side bending towards the left. And then come back to vertical, arms back to a T, palms facing down, and then right forearm to the right leg, left hand to the hip, or straight up, or up and over, both sides of your body long. And lifting back up, arms wide in their T one last time, and then gather your hands to your heart. All right, let the legs go. So let them come back in. You can let the hands come down. Pick up your left leg, give it a hug. So you might have the hands on the shin or under the thigh. So left leg comes in. Now we're gonna twist to the left. So you could keep the left leg up and turn towards it, or you could put the left foot down and turn to the left. Okay, if you're keeping the left leg up, try not to pull it uncomfortably towards the left. And that left arm can go just like it did at the beginning, wherever it wants to be, whether it's hanging or at the hip or on the back of your chair or lifting back. Okay, unwind, put that foot down on the floor if it's up. Right leg is lifting, so you can give it a hug. Okay, either put it back on the floor or keep it up and turn right. Unwind your turn and bring that right foot back down to the floor. Let your hands come behind you or to your hips or to the seat of the chair. Open up the front of your body. So take a breath in and then exhale and fold over. So forearms to thighs is fine or you could wrap your arms around your legs and come right over if you like. And breathe. So feel the inhale. And feel the exhale, the letting go. Okay, 
Let your arms come free, push down through your feet and come on back up. You slide back in your chair so that you can relax. And so you're comfortable in your chair. If your arms need some support, you could always tuck a cushion or a pillow underneath them. All right, so close your eyes. Let the chair support you. And you can feel your breath. So it's not big and full and deep. It's easy and light and slow. The breath in the present moment, your body in the present moment, resting in your chair, softening your head, your eyes, your ears, your jaw. Everything through the face gets to relax. You can relax your neck and your throat. Letting go of shoulders and arms and hands. You're relaxing all through the torso. So through the whole front of your torso and the back of your torso. So your back resting in the chair your right side of your torso and the left side. The outside and the inside. You let go of hips and legs and feet. Let your awareness rest in your heart space. So yoga teaches that our heart center is the home in our body of qualities such as love and kindness and compassion and gratitude. So gratitude is healing for us. Practicing being grateful helps uh, our physical and our mental health. So offer your body some gratitude. Grateful for all that your body allows you to do, all the experiences it lets you experience in life. The wonder of all of our senses. And as you sit with gratitude, just notice if anything else comes up for you that you would like to be grateful for as you sit in this space. And we're certainly grateful for the great, the, the big things in our life, and it's equally valuable to be grateful for the little things, right? the little things that make our life enjoyable. Welcome to sit in this space for as long as you like. And when you're ready to complete your practice, 
you can just gently stretch and move as your body would like to be moved. And then when you're ready to, when you're ready to, you can move back into your day. Thank you for practicing today. Have a great rest of your day, everybody.